the International Rescue Committee has been working in Sierra Leone since 1999. Initially, we responded to the consequences of the country's brutal civil war. We stayed through the reconstruction. When Ebola broke out in 2014, the team had to shift gears quickly. The Ebola response demanded a rapid and total restructuring of our work in the country. But with the Ebola crisis, we have schools closed down and um, we still have to support the children. So we have to adapt the program in order to uh, fit into the context. So instead of the normal schooling, we actually introduce small learning groups in the homes of these children. On the 24th of August 2015, the last known Ebola patient in Sierra Leone left the hospital. The country will be declared Ebola free if no further case is reported within 42 days. With the context changing yet again, our country program team once more must reflect on their role. The IRC has launched a process of testing tools and approaches that can help us better understand and adapt to the contexts in which we work. Social network analysis is one of the approaches that we are testing organizationally. It's an approach that helps us to better understand which actors are involved in a given situation, how they are linked, how influential each actor is, and what are the motivations of the individual actors. And so, when we were identifying potential countries to pilot this approach, we immediately thought of the Sierra Leone team. Uh, having a program that is adapted to the context, for me, is very important because it's like it addresses the concerns, the needs of the beneficiaries that we are really uh, working on with. In July, a context adaptability team traveled to Sierra Leone to undertake a training in social network analysis and to work with the team in using NetMap to help explore their issues. NetMap facilitates the mapping of influence within social networks. It is a discussion-based tool that helps people to understand, visualize, discuss, and improve situations in which many different actors influence outcomes. We work to tailor this tool for the IRC's purposes and for use in a humanitarian setting. We first defined the goal of the project. The Sierra Leone team chose their goal to be an answer to the question how can we ensure that our community health workers continue to carry out surveillance and referral activities? We then asked, who can influence the success of our project? We identified different actors and labeled them on differently colored post-it notes. Once this was done, we asked, which of these actors is linked to whom? Arrows were drawn between actors with different types of relationships drawn in different colors, such as flows of money, conflict, and formal reporting lines. Actors who were deemed to be supportive or negative towards the specific goals were noted. Uh, we actually noticed a lot of potential areas of uh, conflict, and uh, these are very essential. Uh, in programming, because once you are able to pick up areas of conflict, we are discussing what are the sources of these conflicts and uh, how we can resolve them. Influence towers were then built to show how much each actor influences the success of the goal. The map was then analyzed and strategies were discussed for working with supportive actors, mitigating the risk of actors who don't want the project to succeed and navigating the social network to achieve project goals. Um, during this workshop, I really, really admire the experience that my colleagues have, how they have been implementing in the field, 
how they have been navigating um, through some challenges, through some bottlenecks in their districts with regards to program implementations, mm -hmm. and also for conflicts, how they have been able to manage conflicts. It is early days, but our initial experiences indicate that this tool may be helpful for designing projects in new geographic areas, facilitating client engagement, developing advocacy strategies, and undertaking conflict sensitivity analysis. We will be conducting further pilots with other country programs to put this to the test. I think this is a tool that we will use, you know, for proposal development, you know, for understanding actually, you know, the environment, you know, in which we, you know, in and work. And how do you think you can use this tool in the future for your work? It's very interesting. When I go back, for instance, we do uh, teacher professional development. I will sit with my staff and we go through the process for instance.